Hi, Kim West, the Sleep Lady, and today I'm answering Leah's question, or Leah, not sure how you pronounce your name. Um, gosh, I don't even know where to begin. I feel like we have so many issues right now. Our daughter is 28 months old. The first issue is that I have to lay with her to go to sleep. I tried the sitting on the edge of the bed idea while she laid down, but she decided that she just wanted to sit up too. Second, she still wants a sippy cup of milk at bedtime, sometimes asking for up to three cups. I, I say no, but then she thinks of anything she can to stay up. Water, snacks, she need, asks for a bow, uh, different clothes, she needs a blanket, her puppy needs a blanket, her baby needs a blanket, and on and on. At last, she doesn't want anything to do with my husband, her dad. She is definitely a mama's girl through and through. If he tries to help, it just makes it worse. I know I can't break all of these bad habits at once, so I just don't even know where to start. Okay, Leah, I am going to help you figure out where to start, but you are going to have to do a couple things at the same time. So we're going to have to teach your daughter how to put herself to sleep, and we also have to wean her off the sippy cup at bedtime. I'm sorry to say, um, but remember, it's not working anyways, which I find is really common. After a while, our kids just kind of outgrow its use. The sippy cup, just the strength or power of it stops working, and they start asking for more and more because she needs needs more sucking time in order to put herself into a drowsy state. The other reason why I want you to wean her off the sippy cup is because you don't want her falling to sleep with milk on her teeth because believe me I've had plenty of two and three and four year olds in my practice who get cavities. Okay, so again, another reason we're going to do that. We could start off gradually where you just have one sippy, sippy cup and there's no more refills and there's no engaging when mommy sits next to you. And by the way, I wouldn't sit on her bed. I would sit in a chair and I would follow the rules of the sleep lady shuffle. And so I don't want you talking and getting her all these things. Um, I would review you know, really simply a sleep manner chart, like with maybe three rules, you know, cooperate at bedtime, lies quietly in bed and stays in bed until the wake up light comes on. Something really simple because she's not quite two and a half. I'm not sure how much she's going to understand. And also know this might take a little bit longer because she's on the younger side being in a bed. Okay, so I do want you to do the Sleep Lady Shuffle. This is perfect for her at this age. And I want you to at least start with one milk cup at night and say, and then we're all done. Uh, and then eventually, and I want you to have a goal, like number of days where we're gonna say, now we're only having water in our sippy cup and we only have milk downstairs or milk with dinner or milk in the kitchen area or depending on whether you live in a you know a how one story house or an apartment okay and be prepared for a tantrum okay but tell her you can blame it on me say the sleep lady said we can't have any more milk in our bed because it's not good for our teeth because it's the truth okay and then in terms of your your husband um, you know, usually they prefer the softy, so that might be you. Um, so just be aware that if you tend to kind of give in or feel bad, that she's going to work you um, if she knows it works. Um, if that's not the issue, then, then I would just slowly incorporate your husband into the bedtime routine, like maybe telling stories, um, but you're always giving this sort of final kiss and the final tuck in um, because lots of times... Uh, you know, they just kind of outgrow this stage and before you know it, she'll, you know, be, you know, a daddy's girl. So I hope that helps and remember to stay consistent once you get started.